to another Foodie Friday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, B Mars. And Shanti. And we eat something extra special today, which, which is flame broiler. Frame, frame. Flame broiler. I'm a little stuffed up right now. I don't know if I have allergies or I'm getting sick. I woke up feeling stuffed up too. It also uh, is like 80 degrees randomly. Yeah, today. maybe the weather change. I feel it like at the back of my throat. Yeah, same. <laughs> Anyway, a scratchy. <laughs> flame broiler is all around LA. I see it everywhere, but Do you I really? have yeah, but I have never seen it before LA. I know they have locations in like Texas, Arizona, California, and some other a few other states. So it's like a West Coast chain. Kind of, yeah. I was so excited because they have vegan options. Basically, flame broiler is you get a base of brown white rice, and then you get to choose. Uh, chicken, beef, or tofu, and then they fill the rest up with veggies. Mm -hmm. It says a healthy choice. So yeah. I got the half and half, which is just half chicken, half beef with veggies and white rice. And I got brown rice, tofu, and veggies. And then they had some sauces. So you know I love a good sauce. Yeah, so this is um, a teriyaki like soy sauce. I forget what, what it's called. Yeah. And then this one is like a wicked hot hot sauce. Like sriracha, but not. I don't know. It just said it was like a super hot sauce. Mm, did you try either of them yet? No, I haven't tried them. Mm. And then I also stole some jalapenos. Oh, yes. And to drink, I have vitamin water. Is, it, is that weird? <laughs> yes. I do not like vitamin water. I don't drink it often, but it is something I like to get when I get like a fountain mm. drink, you know, instead of soda. And I got unsweetened black tea. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle on. Hey, Kathy, do you remember what the sauce is called? Magic sauce. <gasps> magic sauce. That's what they call it? Yeah, this is called magic sauce. That's really cute. You're just gonna dribble, dribble it on top? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yum. Delicious. I kind of like, you know, even though it's very simple, like rice, meat, and veggies, I kind of like that it doesn't give you too many options because sometimes I get really overwhelmed and I can't make decisions. Yeah. So it's nice that they're just like, you got three. Pick one. Yeah. You know? Straight to the point. I'm now I'm, I want to drizzle this hot sauce on, but I'm a little afraid. I know. Maybe we'll do a little dip later. Yeah. Try it afterwards. Should we go in for a bite? Yeah. Let's First bite. Look. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This yum yum sauce is so good. Wow. The magic sauce mm, is magic. magic sauce. That's what it's called. I'm going to try a beef. I tried the chicken, it was so soft and well cooked. Like, was it? Chicken is easy to dry out. Mmm, I love this. So, I forced uh, Bimars to eat healthy this bang because we have a photo shoot coming up. You know, it was one of those things where I was like, let's get whatever. And then you were, when you were like, I want to eat healthy, we have a photo shoot. I was like, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. So uh, we're gonna put off our 10K celebration. I did see, um, I start reading some of the comments. So we're filming this a week ahead of time, so I already started reading our Monday's, last Monday's comments. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, someone said 100 pieces of fruit. Oh, that's a great idea. I thought you would love that. And then we could like pretend we're freely or something, you know, wear one yeah. of our like, crazy outfits. <laughs> a freely inspired bang. But I feel like if we eat bananas, we'd have to like cut them up because 100 bananas would be like, we could do like 100 strawberries or like 100 pieces of watermelon or... Well, 100 fruit, so we could have like everything. Oh! So it's like really like beautiful. <gasps> we could make a rainbow! We That's such a good idea. I love that idea, whoever commented that. I know, I thought you would. I was so excited to tell you. Alright, I'm gonna try the hot sauce. We do! I'm trying to get like one piece of food so I can really like... Taste their oops. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's not that hot. It's literally Tabasco. <laughs> hot? No, it's good. It's not Tabasco. It's like, um... Wait, why do we have different ones? They were labeled the same. This one's hot. It has little, like, flakes of chili or something in it. Ooh. I told you. <laughs> when you said that wasn't hot, it was literally... I was like... <clears throat> Ooh, it's like the afterburn down the throat. This is literally Tabasco, though. This bright red one. I don't know if you guys see. can see. That looks like Tabasco. I'm trying to get just, like... Something I can dip into this one. I was like, there's no way. Oh yeah, this is Tabasco. Yeah. 
There were two different bins, but I swear they were labeled the same. Maybe I didn't look close enough. This is a really good hot sauce, though. The, yeah. the flavor is really good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, that was spicy. This is so hot, but it tastes so good. I know I could literally drink this stuff. I know. I want to come here all the time now. It was pretty reasonably priced, too. Really, how much was a bowl? Mmm. Like seven something. Mm. And a plate was like nine. No, not bad. Uh, okay. Topic time? Topic time. So this is food day Friday. We do a shout out on Friday. Oh yeah. Make sure you... We gotta do our spiel. We gotta remember. Yeah. So if you are returning to our channel, welcome back. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays where we mukbang, make recipes, and chit chat with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And on Fridays, we do a special shout out. So make sure you leave your topics down in the comments down below. And we'll give you a shout out if you're subscribed to both of our Instagrams. Mm -hmm. Rachel Bowen commented, hey YouTube, I love your channel. I want to know what your bucket list items are. If you had a limited amount of time to live and could blow every last penny to your name, what would you do with your last days? I'm also so curious to hear others' answers. I think it is also a good reminder not to take life for granted. And are you just surviving or are you living? Ooh, I love that deep, comment. It's deep stuff. Mm -hmm. So bucket list items, huh. what you would you do if you could spend your, you know, if you were like, no, you're gonna die, you had limited time, all that type of stuff. You know, we should really live every day like it's our last, don't you think? <laughs> it's kind of hard to live like that, though, because I feel like you'd be exhausted all the time. Yeah. Mm. Well, I feel like I'd need some time to brainstorm, but just off the, top, off the top of my head, I've always wanted to hike either the Appalachian Trail or the, what is it called, the PCT, I think. But yeah, I have some friends that actually did this back home in Massachusetts, and you basically just hike, I don't know exactly the amount of miles um but you can only carry like what's on your back obviously and you just like tent out every night and it sounds exhausting but also like so rewarding and something i've always wanted to do me and my friend vicky wanted to do it actually together my friend uh, lauren did it yeah mm -hmm. i remember that i think a bucket list item for me slash what i would do if i were gonna die is <clears throat> i've always wanted to backpack europe mm. Um, I've been to like Southeast Asia and I haven't really toured Asia on my own obviously I was working but I thought it'd be fun to like backpack and like really get the lay of the land and like have to like find your way around the city instead of like the bougie route of like flying to each like major city like really getting getting into it me and my friend Vic or me and my friend Jasmine have always talked about doing that but it's hard because it's so expensive and it's getting more and more dangerous, I feel like, to be like two women by yourself, unfortunately. Where but are some specific countries you want to go to? I really want to go to Spain because that's where my parents met and got married. So I thought that would be really fun. They got married in Spain? Mm hmm Because they knew, since they were both military, that if that their ne next assignments, if they weren't married, they'd be separated. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Um, that's so cute. Yeah. And How just, long did they know each other before they got married? A couple years, like three, four years. Wow. Well. That is so cute. Yeah. You know what? I really want to. This is like off topic, but I feel like I want to have a destination wedding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. I don't really want to have like a huge uh, to do. I just want like a few of my family to like travel somewhere and. I don't know. It's hard because. Um, sorry, I like the biggest piece of chicken. Okay. Since I'm a military kid, my wedding could be anywhere. I guess it could be if I was, yeah. whoever I'm marrying, it could be their hometown. But I think it'd be better to have a destination wedding. So it's like you get to see a place that's beautiful. And it's like your closest family and friends that like would put down the money to pay for a ticket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I feel like weddings can get so big and like 400 guests. And then like, how many of them do you really know? Like on your special day, I don't know. And it'd be nice, like I feel like. <laughs> Is he gonna? He's just using crawl my on chest you? as like a way to get closer to the food. Mm. But bucket list items. Yeah. What were the other countries you want to go to? Honestly, I want to just go to the mall. I haven't been to Europe at all. 
It sucks because like, I, I, I want to do like the cheesy stuff that everyone's like so touristy is like see the Eiffel Tower and see the Leaning Tower of Pisa and like do all these things because like I just I haven't but I was hoping that if I backpack like I could see the major tourist points but then get to see the city yeah do your own thing do my own thing instead of just doing the touristy <clears throat> main points I really want to travel too that's definitely one of my bucket list items yeah I want to go to Southeast Asia it's so beautiful you know what I was we could probably go to Thailand for pretty cheap I want to do that. Can mm. we do that, please? Yeah. Let's plan a trip. I'm down. You know, I love traveling now. We can make some vlogs. It would be worth it. We'd be like working. We could bang. Bang all the food. Bang all the food. Don't drink any of the water. But <laughs> yeah, bang all the food. <laughs> um, do you want to like bungee jump or like jump out of a plane or anything like that? No. I have no desire to do that. Me either. Like at all. Zero desire. Zero desire. <laughs> I, I could maybe do skydiving, but bungee jumping, like. You could skydive? Maybe. If someone pushed me. <laughs> I feel like you would. You like roller coasters, right? I like roller coasters, but it's like a recent roller coaster like. Like I never liked them. Really? Growing up as a kid, I was such a little baby. About I used it. to love roller coasters as a kid. Now I hate them. I used to hate them as a kid. I want to. Live. Is, like going up the hill of a roller coaster. I'm always like, why did I do this? I hate this. This is stupid. <laughs> Get me off. I'm gonna die. Yeah. And then after that initial scary drop, I have fun because I feel like I'm flying. But I don't enjoy that stomach churning adrenaline drop like the first one i'm always like get it over with yeah so i feel like i wouldn't like i wouldn't like the initial drop but like after a while when you get used to it and it feels like you're flying yeah i've always wanted to be a superhero like <laughs> but my more so i wanted to be um, great analogy you know when i was a kid i always wanted to have superpowers i i waited my 11th birthday when i didn't get my hogwarts letter i was like maybe in america it's 13 like 13 is like like you special age, that? yeah. I w well, I wasn't. I didn't actually believe, but I was like very hopeful. You know, I was like maybe. <laughs> you know, I mean, as in if I was skydiving, I'd feel like I'm flying. Yeah, that's what I. That's why I went on that tangent. Sorry. It's not really a thing to do before you die, but like a bucket list thing I would love to do is like be able to pay for like help pay like my parents mortgage i was gonna say that too because right now they don't have like a house buy my parents a house yeah like my parents or my dad's still in the military so they rented their whole life so it'd be nice to like what do you think retire. they would um want to retire to have they ever said that they've talked about it a little bit um but they look at places with good military retirement plans obviously i think like the carolinas have really good retire like military retirement and they want a place that they could like hike in the mountains and like maybe go to the beach and they're very active right they're very active and outdoorsy people like they lived in arizona and they would hike the grand canyon and like my mom still wants to go whitewater rafting with me she loves the water so i would that's, that's a bucket list one i want to do that with my mom whitewater rafting yeah i think about them. i would love that i want to like wear a gopro and be like <laughs> See, this is the problem with me. I would like sing the Indiana Jones theme song out loud and now you would like enjoy it. Like you would join in and everyone else would be like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, that would be us. If you were to come to our house for a morning, <laughs> we're all so loud. It's so weird. We all just sing and whistle and dance literally all day. But anyways, that buying your parents a house is such a good one. I totally want to do that. That is a bucket list. Um, You. I really should have brainstormed for this one. We just picked this topic, obviously. Yeah, well, this is probably one that we'll be editing. You know later what I and, really like, want? Think of more things. Huh. Yeah, we're totally gonna think more things after the fact. Well, we can always make a part two. Um, I really want a Tesla. <laughs> really? It's so stupid, but yeah, I really want one. It's like, I like, it's like in my, on my vision board. I can envision it. I'm like, Tesla. Why do you want it? Because it's like good for the environment and, or because it like drives itself. Like, what about the Tesla? Or because David Dobrik has one. <laughs> no, D David Dobrik has nothing to do with it. But, um, sir, he really wants some of this. Basically for like the eco aspect and Wait, the... does it have a battery? Yeah, it's battery powered. You charge it. Yeah, I read somewhere that having a battery that big is like bad for the human, like radiation or I don't know, whatever radiates off the battery. Really? But I didn't, I don't remember where I saw that article to like show you or anything. I'll have to look it up. I mean... Yeah, there are definitely pros and cons to like each, each thing. type of vehicle. But there's also like new like what is it? There's also new cars, I think by Honda that are running on water. Yeah. Have you seen that? The Mirai, Toyota Mirai. I wonder if that is better. It's like hydrogen powered, I think. Um, but is it wasting water or does it go like back into the environment? I have no idea how that works. But yeah, that's like a stupid like material object one. 
feel like I should think. But of a bucket list is is almost like. Excuse me. I think a bucket list is like big goals you have. Like, do you want to have kids in a family? In like a house. <laughs> I think where like, you see yourself in ten years. I know, <laughs> literally. Um. I mean, I do want to have like a house and like a husband. I guess kids, like when I see, I feel like this year I'm getting better with kids, but I just don't have the maternal instinct instinct right now. Well, like I you would, you're just never around kids. But Maybe. it's not, a, I wouldn't call it like a bucket list item. I think that's something that will happen just because like, I don't know, I'm in love. Like I'm at that age, like I could see having kids, but. Yeah, I'm a little scared. Like, what if I, I feel like I'm not gonna wanna have kids till I'm older, but then like, what, once you're 35, you start you're at, to be at high risk pregnancy? Mm -hmm. I never knew that until recently. No. Like, I wanna have kids when I'm like late 30s, but that's, I, what if that's not possible? That's what I do too. But I hopefully technology is getting better and like, especially you, you eat so healthy. You'll be okay. Yeah. And also, have, you know, like freezing your eggs and stuff, like my yeah. friend Lauren. That shit's expensive. She's a little, and she's 36. Really? And uh, she's she doesn't look about, it at all. I know, she literally looks like younger than me. Yeah. But she's the one who hiked the Appalachian Trail and stuff. Like, she's so active, eats so well, mm -hmm. whatever. But she is getting her master's degree right now to be a vet um, <clears throat> and her boyfriend that she like lives with, they're basically married, works all the time. So she's like, we just can't, have a kid we wouldn't be there for it right now, but I also don't want a high risk pregnancy. I don't know, but I, she, I think she said like freezing your eggs is like 10 grand or something. So expensive. Like, damn. And to do like IVF and stuff, that's so expensive. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know about the list. What? I feel like it's your do. What? Because we've talked about it, I want to farm and I want to adopt a bunch of senior animals. <laughs> like I, good thing me, you remembered this. This is you always talk about. This. I always talk about. This. I want to adopt. I worked in um, dog rescue for a really long time, like rehabilitating dogs that were abused, especially like pit bulls and what um, you know, state bo did you do boxers. That in? Ohio. Hmm. We did. We were in an Ohio boxer rescue group. But I always wanted to adopt like a bunch of senior dogs and cats because they. They really don't get adopted out a lot because yeah. it's really hard to adopt a senior animal because you know they are gonna die soon. Everyone wants a kitten. Everyone wants someone young and like to be their companion for life. But they deserve good lives too. So I feel like if I had a bunch of senior dogs, like obviously the deaths would be really hard to deal with, but having so many others around me, like knowing I'm helping them, hopefully would make it easier. Yeah. I don't know, I just think and that would be really nice just like letting them well, live and happy like lives. You just have to think of like, it's rather than them dying alone in a shelter, like at least they died like with a human companion and they were loved and... Especially really like sad. those big, like open fields where they can just run. Yeah. I don't want really, well, I want just like, not just a cat and dog rescue, but I want to rescue like, uh, pigs and cows and goats and ex, um, what is it called? Like slaughterhouse? Slaughterhouse animals, yeah. It'd be hard though because you'd have to learn. The only reason I take cat and dogs is because I know how to take care of cats and dogs. Like mm -hmm. you would have to learn. I'd have to learn a lot. A yeah. lot. Well, and I just want to live on a farm in general and like grow my own food. That's another thing I really want to do. I also want to live in a van. Yes. Um, oh my god. How could you forget that? Yeah, that's literally one of my number like, one bucket list. Number one, I want to live in a van. I picture myself more like living in a van or on a farm. Those are two things I really want to do. Chantal always watches those van videos. I, I can't think of something I'd want to do less. Live in a van? Yeah. Oh my god. I see vans and I get like jealous inside. You're so cramped up. But yeah, I really want to like grow my own fruits and vegetables too. I can see myself doing that like once we're not like dancing anymore. Mm -hmm. I could totally do that. And then I could just have like a van farm YouTube channel. I'm sure that would be interesting. You just take the Shanti Marie channel and just completely flip it. Yeah. <laughs> no more vlogs or no more dancing. Right. I do also want to travel. I think traveling is the main one for me. Yeah. Rescue some homeless animals like this guy. If you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You know what? I'm just thinking about like all the things I said. I said some very contradictory goals, but what? I still have like a long life to live. So maybe well, you get the van, get and the you Tesla. save it, and then they get the Tesla later. <laughs> <in the life. laughs> 
it all, there's, there's a plan, guys. There's you know, a timeline you know, in our minds. the Tesla SUV, and then I could convert it into, like, a living space. There, you know, there's no engine, so there's so much storage space. Did you know that? The, no. The trunk is in the front. And, and the back? back? Yeah. So, so many dead bodies? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say so much room for my clothes and shoes when I <laughs> when I'm living, living on in the road. It. Yeah. Actually, that'd be crazy. A YouTube channel, living on the road in my Tesla. I live in my Tesla. But like, you only have like three items of clothing, like minimal lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> with my Tesla. Minimalist. With my Tesla. <laughs> I like it. I think you should do it. It'd be so funny. Like your your three like clothes that you carry is like a Gucci belt. Yeah. <laughs> People would be so confused. Yeah. Like, what is this? Like I love a minimalist lifestyle. I, I also live on a farm, time. and I have goats and pigs and chickens. <laughs> None of them are allowed with Tesla though. Yeah. If I had to take them to the doctor, I had to get the Toyota Camry out the back. <laughs> <laughs> I park my Tesla miles away so that it doesn't get mud on it. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Make sure you guys comment down below what are some of your guys' bucket list goals uh, or what you would do before you die kind of things. I want to see what other people's goals ambitions are. are. Yeah, and maybe sure it'll inspire us. We're going to end this and think of so many things that we actually want to do. Yeah. I mean, I actually want to do all the things I said. I do too. There's probably so much more. There's so many more though. I, know, I really don't want a bungee jump for Sky to ever do anything like that. That's a lot of people's. Yeah, me neither. No, thank you. I like like the solid ground right here <laughs> under me. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your topics for next Woody Friday in the comments down below. With your Instagram handle. And that's it. Yep. Should we Foodie Friday out? Yeah. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Foodie, foodie Friday, Friday out. out. <laughs>